what's going on everybody back at it again with the back at it again with another youtube video my name is nigel isaiah i am the founder and editor-in-chief of color magazine the fashion magazine for black and brown men and i already know why you're here because of the title of this video you want to start your own magazine and i have seven tools that you can use to start your magazine from scratch so let's get right into it now just a quick background on my magazine after freelancing and uh, moving from Buffalo, New York to New York City to try and break into fashion and going to uh, fashion interviews and ultimately not landing a job, I started my own, okay? Plain and simple. I just decided that I wanted to not get rusty. I wanted to take the skills that I had been learning and apply them to something. And if nobody was going to hire me, I was going to create the damn book. Um, <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, and since I've been doing it, I have definitely picked up on some tools around the, along the way that I believe can help you start your own magazine. Um, and just to let you know, I'm not rich. I started my magazine broke and I'm still broke. Um, obviously some money has to go into it, but if you Google how to start a magazine, you're gonna see people tell you that you need thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to just to launch it. And I am telling you that that is a lie, lie, lie. You can self publish your own magazine using these seven tools that I'm about to give you and you may be spending about, mm, you may, you're not gonna spend over a thousand dollars in a year. And if you do, it's not gonna be too much more over than that. So let's get right into these seven tools you need to start your own fashion magazine. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is a website builder. And why? Because in this day and age, everything is digital. And from scratch, uh, your best bet, if you're not, if you don't wanna do the footwork as in networking on the ground, um, then your next best thing is to do the footwork digitally on Google. And so you want a website. And so for me, I chose Squarespace. Now there's Blogger and there's WordPress and there is, uh, I think GoDaddy does some website building as well. But I just love Squarespace. I was familiar with the space working with another independent magazine. And I knew that the website had capabilities to upload and uh, publish content in a nice clean fashion. And they were also e-commerce capabilities. And that is what draw me because we have played with print issues before and through third party um, uh, printing companies. And I eventually would love to sell my own magazine on my website. And so that is why I was drawn to Squarespace. And that is why um, I recommend it. But overall, number one, you need a space to hold. You need a website builder to host your website. So you have your website down packed, you're all good to go, and now you need to buy your domain. Um, so colormagazine.com I bought through GoDaddy. I am not sure um, of any other like hosting agents, um, but I like GoDaddy. Number one, their customer service is impeccable. I don't think I've ever experienced better customer service anywhere else. I use them for my hosting and my professional email. Now you don't need a professional email. And if you think you do, let me shift your attention to my homegirl, Monroe Steele, who is the hardest working woman in fashion, the hardest working person in fashion, period. Runs a blog, a dope Instagram account, a yearly magazine, which is absolutely beautiful in a YouTube channel. She uses a Gmail account. Um, I hope she doesn't mind me saying that, but she uses a Gmail. Like my email is nigel at colormagazine.com, but you can use, um, or nigel at gmail.com if you wanted to um but you definitely need and you would definitely want your home your own domain you don't want your magazine to be colormagazine.blogspot or dot wordpress or dot squarespace.com right you want your own nice clean website so that people can immediately google or type you in and it's not any extra work trying to find your space number three uh, actually you can stop kind of right there you buy your domain you find yourself a website builder and you can immediately start creating and uploading content onto your website right now with those two things. And I can just stop right here and tell you about the prices. A domain is gonna cost you a monthly fee or a yearly fee. For Squarespace, I, I pay $26 a month. GoDaddy is also gonna charge you. Now for my email, I pay $5 a month for my email. Um, and I think my domain, I may pay about $60 a year to uh, keep my domain colormagazine.com. If you want to go further, because we do a flip book. So right here, as you can see, is our latest spring issue. And I have it on my iPad for a reason, because you can recolor right here, you know? And what I really love about this is that if I meet you out and about, and I tell you that I have a magazine 
and you say, oh, where can I buy it? I can tell you right on your tablet or right on your phone, right? And the reason why I'm able to do this is because of a platform called issue.com. Now issue hosts thousands of independent magazines. You can use it for free actually. Now they have monthly plans, $40 plans. Um, I think one maybe like $200 a month, but I use the free plan for right now. And what that allows you to do is to turn your content into a flip book. And if I was to turn, I mean, look at that. Look at how dope that is. Now I love a print. I love a print copy, but boy, oh boy, how convenient is this to be able to sit down, um, on the bus, on the train, wherever you are and decide that hey, I want to catch a read real quick and somebody can read your magazine right from their electronic device. So issue would be my third recommendation simply because if you want a flip book style, but you don't have the money to go into printing, I mean, this is easy right here. Okay. Number three issue. Now you probably wonder how I got this into a flip book, which I had to create a PDF. Now you can do this on Apple it's the pages. Um, that's why I originally started my very first projects. But I eventually moved to Blurb. And Blurb helps you create and self publish photo books, regular books, magazines. And Blurb is essentially free. Um, so with Blurb, you are able to download their, their app, which is free, to design your magazine. Then when you're ready to publish, they do charge you. So I only, for right now, have been paying $5.99 every time I create a new issue of color. $5.99 pays for your your pdf the pdf that you made um so software free you're paying 5.99 for every time you want to publish they also on blurb have an online store that i believe is connected to amazon and so you can sell your magazine on their platform you also can buy your own print copies to sell them yourself and that cost is that cost as well but selling your book on their platform does not cost any money because it's a third party printing so if you want to sell your magazine on there it's hands off they take care of the printing of the magazine and the shipping of the magazine. If there's any issues, people can contact you, but you will probably be directing them to blur because it's actually out of your hands, which I like because I don't have the money or the time uh, being kind of like a one man uh, um, magazine editor to um, get these printed and to get them out to people. So that is why I really like blur. Now, number five is Grammarly. Now, Grammarly is an editing um, application that you can use actually on your on any of your devices, your phone, your tablet. Um, it adapts to any of your keyboards. But if you're working by yourself and you need an editor, Grammarly is a good, it's a nice, you know, second to uh, to an actual person you know, over your work. Grammarly will highlight the things that you probably missed if you read over a bunch of times and you think it's good. Grammarly is free to use, but if you want more features, advanced features, you have to pay. I don't know how much it is because I use it for free. Um, but again, just another free tool that you can use to help get your publishing started. Now, your last tool that you need is social media. That's how you promote your projects. I'm going to suggest very specifically Pinterest. Pinterest is the social media tool that you need to grow your unique visitors, your monthly visitors from scratch, from zero. If you have 500 followers on Instagram right now, and so your cap of how many visitors you can get a day is 500, right? Unless other people share your work. Pinterest, if you are consistent on Pinterest, will help you expand your audience. You know why? Because Pinterest, along with YouTube, which you're on right now watching me, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Pinterest, YouTube, and Google are all search engines. If you can create content, original content, that can ping on Google because it's a niche, and then find a way to get on here and to use the knowledge you learn to create how-to videos and informational videos that people are, evergreen content that people are always looking for, and then you ping it into uh, Pinterest, which is a, uh, an image search engine. Let me tell you something. You will be just fine with your 500 followers because your magazine will grow. That is how you get the ball rolling with building your audience and driving traffic into your site. So social media, heavy on the Pinterest, heavy on the YouTube. I promise you, your magazine will, it'll go in three months. You'll start to see an uptick in traffic if you're consistent with your content 
on these platforms as well as publishing on your website. And I am gonna give a bonus tool, which is also, which can be free. Now people can charge you for this stuff, but you can always network. And networking is free. Meeting people, getting outside, saying hi to people, and letting them know, hey, my name is Nigel Isaiah, and I have a fashion magazine for black and brown men. I would love to give you my business card for you to check it out, or um, this is my website, I would love for you to visit it. Free, free ways to drive traffic, and it's a free way to build your name. I have to admit, I have definitely, I'm definitely kind of anti networking. I don't like talking to people about my magazine per se, as much as I just want to kick it and vibe. And then if it comes up, it comes up. Um, and so that's why I think these tools are essential, especially to social media. But as always, I have to get out and speak too. I have to get out and talk to people too, because we produce our own editorials. We go to fashion week. And so to get those things, I have to meet people and, you know, be in people's faces. Um, so those are the tools that you need to touch your own magazine thank you again for uh coming to my uh, channel again let me know in the comments what you think about this video if you need some more publishing advice as far as starting your own magazine and getting it off the ground let me know i'm pretty sure i could probably help out until next time